Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the redox reactions of group 2 elements with dilute acids and with chlorine. This is the second part of a two-part video. In the last video we looked at the redox reactions of group 2 elements with oxygen and with water. When group 2 elements react they lose their outer two electrons to form the two positive metal ion. And you need to remember that in compounds group 2 elements have an oxidation number of plus 2. As we move down group 2, the outer two electrons are lost more readily and the reactivity of the elements increases. I'm showing you here the reaction between magnesium and dilute sulfuric acid. When group 2 elements react with dilute acids, we make them metal salt and hydrogen gas, and this is an example of a redox reaction. At the start, the magnesium has an oxidation number of 0 as it's an element. During the reaction, the magnesium is oxidized losing its two outer electrons. So in the magnesium sulfate, the magnesium has an oxidation number of plus 2. In the sulfuric acid, the hydrogens each have an oxidation number of plus 1. During the reaction, these hydrogens are reduced as they each receive one electron from the magnesium. So in the hydrogen gas, the oxidation number of each hydrogen is now 0 as their elements. Remember that the changes in oxidation number must balance. The oxidation number of magnesium has changed from 0 to plus 2, and each of the two hydrogens have changed from plus 1 to 0, so we can see that they balance. Now you may be wondering why we aren't looking at the sulfate ion, which I'm showing here. The sulfate ion is SO42 minus. This ion does not change during the reaction, so we don't need to consider it. I'm showing you here the reactions between magnesium and dilute hydrochloric acid and magnesium and dilute nitric acid. And you can see that the changes in oxidation number follow the same pattern. OK, now if we heat a group 2 element in the presence of chlorine gas, then we form the metal chloride. And I'm showing you that here for calcium. I'd like you to use oxidation numbers to show oxidation and reduction. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, at the start, both the calcium and chlorine have an oxidation number of 0 as their elements. The calcium is oxidized, losing 2 electrons, so the oxidation number of calcium in the calcium chloride is plus 2. Each chlorine atom receives 1 electron and is reduced. The oxidation number of each chlorine in the calcium chloride is minus 1. Looking at the changes in oxidation number, we can see that calcium has changed from 0 to plus 2, and both chlorine atoms have changed from 0 to minus 1. So this means that the changes in the oxidation numbers are balanced. In the next video, we look at compounds of group 2 elements. 